How are you doing, Austin here? So for those of you guys who follow my channel a lot, you know that I am definitely not in my normal place, but you can see that I am uh, not in Dallas. I'm actually in Seaside Watercolor uh, in the uh, Florida, 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 Florida area uh, at a really cool beach community down here with myself, my family, uh, and a couple other families all renting a big house. It's really, really awesome. So I'm trying to find a place to record. I'm actually on the third floor uh, in this little kind of alcove scenario. So, uh, but I needed to make you guys a video and I need to make you guys a video, talk about Shiba Inu and talk about what I'm seeing going on. And is Shiba Inu about to break out and start making some significant moves up? We're going to break that down um, in this video. So here we go. Okay. So right here now, the overall crypto market is looking really, really good, really positive. One trillion, um, basically 1 trillion, 140 billion plus in market capitalization of about three and a half uh, percent or more Bitcoin, Ethereum doing their thing. Now, SHIB itself is doing something very similar. It's up about 4.74%. Okay. And if we take a look at the seven day chart, we have a really nice consolidation pattern here that was happening in the earlier part of August. And then uh, yesterday around 8 p.m., we started this dramatic move up where this is your about your, your 4% or so move up right here that you see on the chart. Okay, so is this going to continue? Are we going to continue to see this be a trend? Um, and the answer is the short answer is maybe. And there's two scenarios I need to make you aware of. Okay, but look, Shiba Inu is continuously moving to the upper border of the consolidation range formed back in June. So what SHIB does a lot of is doing what you see. This, this is consolidation where it's just kind of channeling. It's running in a channel, kind of that 1-1, one, one, the kind of that 1-0 range on the low end to that 1-2. It just kind of does this channel. It looks like a lot of volatility. It is not, right? Okay, so that's what they're talking about. Now, beyond that, it has had a couple of breakout attempts to kind of get above that 1-2 range. And it has officially kind of broken through that 1-2-5-9 range. You can see that right now it broke above a, a, a range of one, two, five, nine, which is where it's been kind of pushed back a couple of times. So we are up at that, at that one, two, six, one range. Okay. So the key here is, is are we can continue to see this. And so here's the short answer of what I'm seeing. And there's two scenarios playing out here. Okay. Number one, is there a, what moves cryptos, if you don't know this is, is catalyst is things going on either specifically for that crypto, in this case, Shiba Inu, or, and or, is it an overall broader market move? Okay, so number one, this is there's no major catalyst right this second going on for Shiba Inu. That's not happening, okay? So it's not like the metaverse came out today, the Shiba Inu game came out today. There wasn't some major huge announcement made today for SHIB or anything like that, okay? So in that scenario, it is a overall broad market move of the market moving up 3.76%. Bitcoin moving up 4.5 and Ethereum up 4 points, you know, you know, 5.5, is, you know, et cetera. You see that SHIB is right in line with them moving up 4.73. So this is the beauty of SHIB being a top 20 crypto. And you can see it's number 15 in the overall in the overall ranking out of, by the way, just in case you didn't know this, there's 20,502 cryptos, 20,502. OK, and so SHIB with a market capitalization, uh, almost seven billion right there okay um the move up this move up is following along with the overall macroeconomic factors kids are back you can hear them okay so what i'm seeing right now is i think we're going to continue to see kind of this choppy volatility maybe up two or three percent like we have today nice green candle day um and or uh you know we might be moving down a little bit kind of choppy we're waiting on some federal reserve data to come out um uh, you know later uh in the next four or five weeks um the the inflation data report is going to be completed august 10th but we're being told it's not going to be published until september 10th or september 11th okay so inflation still is the key lead story in all of crypto and so i think you're going to see volatility for shiba inu and for all the all the other altcoins tokens that you own up until that point okay so that's what i've got for you right here right now thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time i'll see you later have a good one see ya